Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Affinity Designer and text and compounds. You can use text in compounds in Affinity Designer. Really super useful. So I've got this text here, just created just over here. Thing. Of course, you've got different text as well. You could use that as well, I'm quite certain. I'm just going to go with artistic text for this. So what you can do, you could create some other text, but I'm going to hold down the Alter Option key to duplicate this design. So I've got two words, text. You can see that over the layers. So view and studio and layers. And this is the key panel. Without really, you can of course use it without, but it's going to be a bit more fiddly because you won't be able to access all the various settings. So without that, just view, studio and layers. And now just select both of them. Go to a layer and create compound. At this point you think, great, it's gone. Where's my text gone? Well, you can still see it obviously on the screen. But unfortunately, the fill and the stroke has disappeared. Not certain why, that seems a very odd feature, but however, you can reset it obviously quickly, turn it back to like that. So I'm gonna go with maybe not that bright, <laughs> just convert it to something, text like that. Also, you can add a stroke, of course. Just quickly add a stroke and go for something maybe like that. And you can then see now, this is combined. It's combined into a single shape. Well, it's not yet because I haven't converted it. Well, if you want to, at any point, if you decide, you know what, this is it, I've finished with this design, I don't want the compound, I've got the compound over here. What you can do, you can always go to, and you probably won't do it now, but you can convert to curves. Yeah, yee, does it. Curves, so it does convert it. That's the key thing, you just quickly can click there and you converted it. Now, what you can do, you can expand this out. Obviously, I don't want to convert it at this point because I want to do, the, now, this one's the bottom one. This is the one you created first, and that doesn't have any options here. This one has the option. This is the one, the new one that I created. So there's that one. You can still move it around, but what you can do, you can go over here and you can say add, subtract, or intersect, or exclude. And you, they all have different sort of options. So subtract, you can see as you move that around, you can just cutting away the text. This one, intersect, is the area where it's just over intersected. So if it's, it's Really quite useful that. It's actually clearer to see when you use other shapes than this one, I must admit. And XOR is the opposite, so you can see the area where that it's just not touching. So everywhere where you've got the T there, you've got the T there, the bit where it crosses over, it's excluded, it just disappears. There's nothing you can see through it. That's you. Personally, 99% of the time, I use the subtract or add. I have to say, I very rarely use it. It's still live though, this text here, so you can just go up here, and you can resize it. You can resize it anything, you can move it around, you can scale it, rotate it, play around with your heart's content, and you can also change the word. Obviously, it's nice to have it text because you get this nice little effect here. But what you can do, you can go over here to the text tool and you can select that and you can put the word XYZ or something else. One, two, three. And also, you can change the font. So I'm just going to go with text again. But I can change the font if I want. I don't want Arial. I want, say, go with some of these other ones that are fairly obscure, obscure ones. Let's go down a little bit. Let's go for Black Oak. And you can see straight away you've got a different, and if I go to a add, you can see the design there. And again, as long as you're selecting that or that, you can move them around. If you select the compound, it moves the whole thing, and you can resize the whole thing. One trouble with using that uh, <laughs> font, it stretches it out and the uh, right makes it a bit bigger. But you can still see the general gist of things. So you click there and you can still move things around. And you can move it completely off if you want. And you can move it out. You don't have to have it as a text. You can just simply drag up there and it's outside now. I don't want that. I want it to be part of it. But you can remove it if you don't want that text there. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to have that text there because it's a bit right. Got that design, again, hold down that. And while you've got that selected, you can see what happens. It just, I'm holding the alter option key to duplicate. So I've duplicated this design and you can see that design, I can move it around, but as long as I'm selecting that thing, so that's the key thing, I just point that again. That's selected, hold down the alter option and duplicate. And then you can see that it creates it within the compound and you can do it multiple times. So I've got it selected, select, this is the alter option key, so I can even write a quite a messy sort of 
Yes, a very messy design, very quick and easy, that are all joined together like that. And of course, at any point, you can go and select any of those, and you can remove them. If you don't want that, you can always delete it, delete, or you can select that one and rotate it. And you can also come over here and you can change it. So you can say subtract or intersect and so on and so on. So you can create a variety of different designs simply by changing each of those settings. Now what you can also do, and I'm just gonna go up to the compound, the complete thing. I'm just gonna resize that a bit. So resize it. What you can do, you can hold down the ultra option key again and duplicate. So then you've got two sets of compounds or three or four. So you can create a real quite complex design and it's <clears throat> all still editable. So they're all compounds, select all those. What you can do then you go to a layer and you can create compound. So it all becomes one compound and you can resize that. Though you can notice it does get slightly slower on my machine. It's not obviously, it's obviously gonna be uh, causing a bit of an issue for the computer, it's a bit more. Uh, there's a lot of calculations obviously involved in that and you can do various things and modify it in numerous ways. But you can see it's all editable. Here you can expand this out and go like that and just change, say a different part of that, modify that. But wait, and I'm just gonna select all of that because I don't want to, yeah, I'm just gonna create some more text again. So there's some text, like that. Now with text, you can use a contour tool. So there's a contour tool there. So you can see what you do, you can create some nice. However, what you can do, you can now just go over here. I'm just gonna duplicate that. Hold down the ultra option key. Helps to have the move tool selected. So I've got that, select all those, make that a layer, create compound. So it's all compound again. And again, you can go over here, you can set that, subtract. And again, of course, it weirdly doesn't display it. I'm gonna go for stroke, just stroke, no fill, doesn't need a fill. So stroke, just so you can see the design there. What you can also do, you can use the contour tool. So you can go over the contour tool and you can resize it. So you can see as you do that, resize. Now I'm resizing the compound. You can see I'm just modifying that, but you don't have to do that. What you can do is you can go to the text and that's the, obviously the top one. And you can use the compound just on that. So you can see that will change. Or you can go to this one and you can try, change that. And again, so you get different results depending on which items you select. So it's quite quick and easy to create all kinds of very weird and wonderful designs that perhaps are not exactly what you might want the end result. Lots of lines that seem to be still stuck on the screen. <laughs> not very useful. Now, let's go, let's go and create. What you can also use is text with other shapes as well. So artistic text, some text. Very original with the name. Doesn't have to be word text, of course, but it's just something simple. I could just have just T or X. So, so text, and then what you can do, you've got maybe, I could use any of these other shapes, maybe a star, star's more exciting. So you've got a star design there. So you can put the star there, and you can select both of those. So you've got now, got you can see over there, you've got start, star, and text. Wow, oh, that's like terrible. And what you can do, you can go to a layer and create compound. And again, <laughs> just remove the whole thing. Just find that slightly off, but. Again, you can always go for a stroke thing, just set that maybe a bit bigger. You can have fill, of course, but I'm just gonna go for that, just for, just because I want to. So again, you can go and select there. You can, again, if you want to, you can go to there, you can see, you create your very interesting designs with the compound and contour. You can also select the star and do the contour as well. And you can see that will chop away or maybe add or subtract or intersect, etc. So you can just, vary the design, whole loads of different things just by using this contour design. I don't want that, but I can use the text as well. So I can use the contour. Now that slightly goes a bit more haywire. Well, the text, I think, goes out. But you can see the general gist of things. You still want to, now what you can also do with this, now if you go to the star, you can still live edit it. So you can just go to the star tool, and you can see here, you've got the star options here. You can modify the star. You can also change the number of points. You can see then, and again, it's still live, so you can still move that design around. Now, if I've got that 
let's just put it so you can actually see the design. Now let's go to the compound. Compound, let's give it, uh, obviously just make it black. And I can get rid of this as well. Let's put that down to, and now I can set the star and you can still move that star around and you can still edit the star. Now it's all part of the same compound. Now if I go to the text, I can move that around as well. And that's also part of that. Again, star, I can subtract and cut away from there. So that's a run through, and there's also other things, of course, as well. You can use various other, obviously, you can convert the text into just standard curves and then use that. Now, it does actually seem to have a problem. I actually tried it when I was running through earlier, trying to do that later. When I'm inside here, text here, and then trying to convert it to curve, I had lots of problems. It didn't seem to like it. So if you want to work with it, perhaps it's probably best to work with the text already converted to curves and then make the compound based on that. I don't know, you might find it works fine for you, but I did find when I was trying to do that thing, oh, I can just convert it. Didn't seem to like it as well. So uh, anyway, that's, there's sometimes I find issues and problems and I think, hmm. but then again, it might not be for other people. But there you have it. So there's the text again. And again, you can still obviously continue to keep adding more and more text. And of course, if you want to, you can make compounds of compounds and blend in with shapes and many other things and maybe fill them with gradients and many much, much, much more. And of course, once you're finished, let's just, you've got this compound. What you can do, you can just convert the whole thing to curves. So convert to curves. And then of course, once you've done that, you can just go over here to the no tool and you can see you've got quite a lot of points to work I really, well, I suppose with a bit of zooming in, you might be able to uh, edit that a bit better, but there's an awful lot all sort of joined there. But that's a way of joining them together. If that's what you want to do at the end, merge them all into one complete object. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Affinity Designer, Affinity Publisher, Photo, of course. Actually, I must go back and start looking at some photo ones. I haven't done any photo ones for quite a while. Also, Photoshop, Illustrator, and many others. Also, if you've got any comments, Always nice to uh, hear if there's some things you point out that I've done wrong or some other issues, some, some things maybe like someone pointed out with the contour that I didn't realise. And also with this as well, the actual joining the, the compound path, super useful. Also a dislike or like. Thank you much.